Hello YouTubers, subscribers and friends, welcome to my channel, One Down, Four Up, with another uh, Motovlog edition coming to you. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. I got a brain fart there. Look at this beautiful weather, man. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's a 98 degrees out right now. They said it's going to get to 101 today. Summer's over, fall is here. Monsoon raisin, monsoon raisins, monsoon season is over, and I look forward to the cooler weather. No. Speed limit 40. Haven't been over here in quite some time. This is uh, an area where my kids used to go to school. I've ran out of gas on this road twice before. Once in a, I had a little Datsun pickup truck. I was taking my kids to school and I was hoping I could get back, make uh, make it back to the gas station. I actually ran out right here by these mailboxes. And uh, once was on my motorcycle, Mad Max, my cafe racer, uh, up at the end there at the intersection. So, got a lot of history in this road for me. Technology. Wow, there is so much technology out there today and what, what I find funny is that uh, the generation of today, the younger generation today, people, they can't live without their technology. I mean, I'm 51 years old and I like technology, but I remember the days when there was no technology. I mean, people, got, I got my son-in-law, he calls me old man all the time. And, uh, I'm proud to be an old man. I'm not an old geezer. I'm an old man. But uh, I remember the days when there was no technology. We, we only had, uh, talk about television, we only had three channels when I was a kid. There was no uh, cable, no HBO or Showtime or Discovery Channel or anything like that when I was growing up. We had ABC, CBS, and NBC. Only oh, we had four channels, PBS which uh, was the only channel my mom would al actually allow, allow us to watch, me and my brothers and sisters, because it had a lot of children's shows on it. So I remember what life was like without cable TV. I remember when cable TV came and HBO was the big thing to watch. I mean, you couldn't wait to watch HBO, man. Show, uh, Showtime and Cinemax, or as some people call it, Skinemax. And uh, oh, there's a fellow cruiser up there. And then I remember, uh, you know, the telephone. In my house, uh, I didn't grow up as rich. We didn't have any money in my family. We were so poor. We, actually, we were poor. We had to eat cereal with a uh, fork, so everybody in the family had milk. We were poor. We couldn't even afford O-R for poor. We were poor, P-O. So we didn't even have a house phone. If we uh, ever needed to make a phone call, my mom would say, go over to the next door neighbor and ask if you could borrow the phone and make a phone call. You know, that was it. Now every day, now everybody today has cell phones. Uh, I showed my son, I found a pay phone the other day and I showed my son, I said, check that out. So what is that? And he's like, I don't know, what is it? I said, that's a pay phone. He said, a pay phone, what's a pay phone? He's 12 years old. He's never seen a pay phone in, in his life. And I, I said, that's uh, what we had before we had cell phones. And uh, he said, why would anybody pay some, put money in a machine to make a phone call? I'm like, son, we pay uh, your cell phone bill so you can make cell phone calls to your friends. And he's like, oh. So I remember everything. I mean, I remember when the internet started. My next door neighbor, he had got the internet before I did. Actually, about 30 days before I did. I didn't even have a, have a computer. And uh, he'd come over and tell me, hey man, come check this out, man. It's this thing called an internet. I'm like, what is that? He's like, man, you can go, you can look at porn on the internet. I'm like, what? So I went over to his house and checked it out. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. What else can you do on the internet? He goes, man, you can do anything on the internet. And, uh, after about a week of going to his house and you know checking out the internet I went out and got me a computer a Packard Bell desktop and uh, got me the American online free trial 
for the internet and uh, that's how I got hooked on the internet and this was back in uh, 1995 yeah 1995 and I've been on the internet ever since and uh, I remember that you know I had pay I had a pager because I didn't have a phone a home phone in my house because I grew up without a phone so why do I need a home phone or landline as they call them and uh, so I remember I carried a page around for a long time and then uh, when they came out with cell phones uh, my first cell phone was a, a weird looking phone uh, the company was called Primeco that was the first cell phone I ever got and I never talked on it because it was pretty expensive back then to talk on cell phones and uh, it had a little top that the, the, the earpiece would slide up and then that's how you answer the phone and you could talk and the first minute incoming minute was free so I tell all my friends you know if I hang up on you just call me right back because I get the first minute free and I don't want to you know use all my data on my all my uh, cell phone plan you know but uh, today the people today the generation today they can't go without this technology I mean I, it's it's the technology is cool and it's fun and everything and I remember you know what it was like before technology but it cracks me up that uh, we were going to town the other day and my daughter was screaming in the truck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dad. Oh my god. Dad You got to turn around turn around. I said why? I forgot my cell phone. I'm like so what? You know, I got my cell phone. You can use it. You know, and she's like no no dad You got you don't understand I gotta have my cell phone So she made me turn around which about we were already about six miles away from the house Just so she could go get her cell phone because she couldn't live without her cell phone. I mean, my daughter takes a cell phone every. She takes it when she's in the shower. She puts it by the the shower. She she, she sleeps with it at night by her head. I mean, I, I just I don't get it, man. These people, these kids nowadays, just can't you know go without technology. And uh, when I tell them stories of what it was life was like before this technology, they're just like, oh my god, dad. Especially my son, they're like, how did you entertain yourself? I mean, it sounds boring. And uh, it was boring, but it made you to use your, your brain, made you use your imagination, made you go outside and get some sun, get some exercise. And uh, I just thought, is there anybody else out there that has the same experience as me? Do you remember what it's like before technology? And uh, are you like the generation today? Can you go without it, like if you leave your cell phone? Or, or do you, like my daughter, have to stop everything you do and turn around and go back and get your cell phone? I mean, my wife, she can go without her cell phone because she'll just use mine. Uh-oh. Running out of gas. Good thing I got a reserve. There you go, Roxanne. Well, that's my cue, man. I got to end this video because I got to go find a gas station now. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think with life without technology. Could you, can you do it? Could you go a day, a week? A month without your cell phone or your laptop or your internet I've done it I can do it it's not that bad because I know what it's like before this stuff came but if you like this video hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed before hit that subscribe button don't cost nothing it's for free thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and uh, me and Roxanne we got to go find a gas station Get your job going.